Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today what I'll be doing, I will be updating my existing course. Um, so one of the subscriber, um, you know, informed me that, the, you know, there are some changes that uh, Salesforce done to platform uh, app build certification and I've created a certification a year ago. So uh, thank you for that, for letting me know. So big shout out to the subscriber. So what I'll do, right, I will update uh, my content, even though it's a free content, but I still believe that, you know, it doesn't matter it's a free or paid you should still get the best value out of it uh, that being said I just have a request right if you think that any of the uh, content is outdated just give me a shout right I mean you can I mean I w I'm looking for a volunteer if, if you would like to do that I'm not asking you to create any course for me just just let me know hey the platform developer one needs change can you you know do that I will try my best to do that right because I'll, I'll be making a lot of free courses so I just wanted to uh, make sure that uh, in spite of being free, you guys get the value out of it. Okay, so uh, Platform App Builder, Salesforce has done some changes to it. Uh, the first thing what we're going to do, we're going to look at exam guide, the changes that have been done. Okay, so let's look at the exam guide. Um, so as far as the scoring and the questions are concerned, there is no much change, but the content has been changed. I do understand that Salesforce wanted to, um, you know, keep up with the changes they're introducing so they wanted to make sure that people understand um you know what is coming so the certification has been changed uh to some extent not to i would say they've added 20 20 to 30 percent uh extra content okay um so you know it's pretty much the same now uh here is the difference okay so this is my previous video which i've done right and as you can see, uh, Salesforce fundamentals initially it was 8%. Uh, now it is 25, 23%. So they have increased uh, the weightage um, and the data modeling and management. So that is increased by 2%. Yeah. Uh, security 10%. Uh, they took off the security, which doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know why Salesforce done that, because I believe if you're an app builder, security still plays a very important role. But, yeah, I still believe security uh, is important. Uh, the, the thing with the Salesforce, though, right, they, they do mention, oh, we don't we wanted to take off these things. But they're sometimes squeezing one of two questions from an old certification. They always does that. Okay, uh, the business logic and process automation, so it's increased by 1%, yeah? Now, there was social that took off. I mean, social was just, you know, it's... I think they segregated everything into one, I presume. Um, user interface was 14%, now it's 17%. App deployment, I have seen they've, been, they've added a lot of uh, weightage to app de uh, deployment. Um, uh, they, so they increased to ten uh, percent. I do not understand why they've taken off the, you know, the the mobile aspect of it because I believe that everything is mobile today, right? I mean, Salesforce Lightning platform uh, has been uh, developed, keeping the mobile into consideration. So taking that off is kind of a bit silly, but either way. So this is what the weightage, uh, as far as the weightage is concerned, right? Uh, but that being said, uh, there's no much change to the passing score. It's still 63%. Yeah. Um, and let's look at the, the trailhead. Uh, uh, let's go back and just look at the, um, the, the things which got changed. There are a few things that I have to cover. And I'll promise I'll cover that for you guys. Um, the few things I've already done, right? So you know what we do, right? Let's see what we what I've covered and the things which you which I might have to cover extra. Okay, uh, let's look at my course. Okay, so this is the exam and study guide. So I will mute the video off. Um, so the light. So this is like a customization part one. So which is uh, which is there? I've covered that and. So this is customization part two, customization part three. So there's no changes to that, which is great. I mean, otherwise I have to redo the entire course. So that's a relief. Um, and this is like a lighting customization part four. So that's still relevant. Um, service cloud. Um, so we have service cloud, which is great. So we still need that one. Yeah, so that is important. Um, service cloud part two, that's important. 
and uh, let's look at it um, part three that's important and let's look at what it is okay leads all right the leads are still important so I'll keep the leads for now um, so app exchange solution this is something they have added so I will be covering that um, you know it's funny that I, I mentioned that they, they, they took off the security aspect of it right from the percentage but the codes contain the security which is a bit silly to me but either way so app exchange I will cover right because I haven't covered that so this is the next topic I'll be covering this uh, for you guys um, the data security let's have a look what it is uh, controlling the or controlling that so yeah I will cover that as well this is pretty simple it's nothing fancy here so I will cover these two things I need to cover yeah uh, identity basic so identity right I have covered this as a part of identity code so I will link that here uh, no identity thing so that will be pretty sweet okay so you know you can do that in any order right I mean you can do this identity later in no particular order so don't worry about it so uh, reports we still need it I, I covered the reports already so reports are there uh, so Salesforce mobile app customization see uh, chatter administration I talked about the chatter so you know let's look at the chatter I must have somewhere um, so opportunity and uh, the teams uh, the leads it is a part of the certification so I've covered that data modeling is important so I've covered the data modeling as well uh, let's see uh, data management it's for import and export um, so they have changed a little bit uh, pick list is important um, let's have a look yeah the data security um, oh yeah sorry I have covered about the data security so uh, so data security is pretty sweet okay sorry about that I didn't realize I covered it it's been a while done that so data security I don't have to do all I have to do is the app exchange so uh, manual sharing and identity we need it identity two. Oh, yeah that's interesting oh yeah I have covered identity <clears throat> Seems like I got an amnesia for somehow. I mean, <laughs> uh, sorry about that, guys. Really well, apologize. All right. So most of the things I've covered, which is great. Good to know. Um, all this chatter I've covered, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, chatter I've covered. The leads I've covered. I talked about it. Data modeling of data management. The pick list I've covered. Duplicate management I've covered. Formulas I've pretty much covered. <clears throat> Flows I've covered. Uh, lighting experience is there um, and app builder I talked a lot app development right I haven't talked in detail about uh, my apologies if you're hearing a um, the helicopter going around I don't know so sometimes they randomly fly it's a military uh, aircraft uh, <clears throat> so the application lifecycle I haven't covered it uh, chain said yes I've covered that so I have to cover org and package de uh, development. So I don't have to cover much, which is great because I've done a lot of the things and most of the stuff I have covered are still relevant. So, you know, I believe that uh, I, what I believe that Salesforce hasn't taken off any of the content. Instead, they segregated into different sections, you know, like security that took it off and squeeze into somewhere else. But that being said, these are things that are important. Um, you know whatever is there in the trailhead you need to know pretty much everything okay as a part of the trail mix so um, so a few of the things that's missing I will definitely cover it uh, for you guys and so that will get you guys sorted and I will update this to inspire the solution so um, that being said right uh, one more thing I just wanted to mention uh, I don't know if you've seen my platform right let it low right let it, so uh, I have released uh, the deployment architect uh, certification and so if you're interested you can buy the course uh, so the reason why I'm suggesting if you're preparing for the certification to buy the course I know that it's it's you know it's a paid course right I do understand but I try my best to 
uh, bring out the real life experience because I've done a lot of DevOps things, at, you know, the place where I work as an architect. So I try to bring out the real branching strategy, how to do CI CD, the CI CD, what we use using Azure. I try to demonstrate that. Uh, I've done some of Copato stuff as well. If you, you know, I, I brought that into picture as well, version control, uh, how to create a uh, unlock packages, um, ALM, right? And I explain from a you know real life scenario as an architect. So, uh, so if you are if you are interested, right, you're most welcome to buy the course. Uh, so next year I'm gonna go for a membership route. You know, like most, you know, one of my mate he said, hey, why don't you go for membership route, right? So then everyone can get everything. Because the thing is that uh, I will be making free course this year from, but from next year. I will be limiting my free course, like you know, some of the advanced course along with the architect. I won't be making it as a free. I will be giving only as a part of a membership. So, so if you are a member, you will get access to all. So that's one of the business uh, you know plan I have. But for now, it's all very simple. If you're interested, buy it. And and now you might be thinking, why is this guy charging thirty five, right? So, you know, 35 is pretty cheap. It's in New Zealand dollars. It's not in US dollars. It comes around 22 USD, right? Or 25 USD, perhaps. Uh, most of the, comp uh, you know, course content, they charge 100 pounds at times, right? For an admin course, a platform developer course. So compared to that, architect is pretty advanced. So, you know, I'm just keeping it cheaper. The reason why I am charging this because I can pay for my hosting service, right? I'm not making any profit out of it. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing this as as a part of, uh, you know, giving back to the community. So that's pretty much it. So that's why you see pretty low price so that I can pay my hosting provider, right? Uh, so that being said, uh, you know, that's pretty much I wanted to cover uh, in this episode. So if you have any questions or concern, please, you know, always, you know, put your comments and I will, I'll try to respond, right? As you notice that I pretty much respond to most of the comments. Sometimes my apologies, I do miss out because, you know, I've been doing a lot of things lately. So, right. And this year going to be extremely busy for me. I have to make, um, a lot of other courses, right? So that being said, you guys have an amazing, um, Monday. Take care.